Hello and welcome. Uh, let us consider some interesting points in replacement decision. The thing in center is replacement of items, the efficiency of which deteriorates with time. A high value asset, the efficiency decreases with time and running cost increases with time. This time we are with a comparative study between two machines and possibility of substitution. Whether uh, use, rather use of uh, one machine already installed should be discontinued at earlier stage in favor of the other or not. We bought and installed machine A. We have already bought and installed machine A having no resale value. The cost 45,000 rupees, running cost first year rupees 1,000 and increases by rupees 10,000 every year. Another machine B is available in the market. Now or maybe in future. Cost rupees 50,000. The lowest average total cost rupees 20,000 at the end of 5 years. The statement for B has already been prepared by someone else. No script value. Okay. Now what is the main thing? We have already installed machine A. We are using. Should we replace A with B? If yes, when? Okay. First of all we have to find out that if we have only machine A. Forget B. What should be a replacement policy at the say what should be the end here? At the end of which we should replace A. Number two, we have to compare the statistics of A and B and whether to substitute A by B or not. First of all, statement of A as usual, first column is here, second is running cost, 1000 first year and 10,000 increasing every year. Cumulative running, yes. Depreciation cost, since it has no resale value, depreciation cost will be 45,000 cost minus 0, 45,000 every year. Okay. Now, first year 1,000 running cost, 45,000 depreciation cost, 46,000 total cost, one year that means average 46,000 per year. Second year, the running cost increases by 10,000. So it is 11,000. Cumulative is 1 plus 11, 12,000 for 2 years. Depreciation cost 45,000. Total cost for 2 years using A for 2 years 57,000 divided by 2, 28,500. Third year again running cost increases by 10,000. So now it is 21,000. Total for 3 years is 33,000 plus depreciation cost 45,000 so total cost of using machine A for 3 years comes to rupees 78,000 divided by 3 average annual cost 26,000 in the fourth year the running cost is greater than the average annual least average annual cost or average annual cost of the previous year so actually now we can say that at the end of the third year we should replace A by A forget B at this point uh, fourth year 31,000 because it increases by 10,000 total running cost for 4 years 64,000 total cost for 4 years 1,9,000 average 27,250 which is more than 26,000 so we advise that the company should replace machine A by another machine A at the end of 3 years. Okay, why should we prepare the statement for 5 years? Because the information of the B is available for 5 years. That's why I have prepared and I suggest you to prepare the statement for machine A for 5 years. This is the scenario. Okay, now what? Should we replace A with B? What is the point of attraction? A has average annual cost or rather average total cost of 26,000 when we replace it. B has 20,000. So something goes in favor of B. But the point is 5 years, 3 years, blah, blah, blah. I am going to speak everything in order. First, let us compare the incremental or differential total cost of A. Remember the rule. When the differential cost of old machine exceeds the lowest average total cost, that is the point of time where old should be replaced by the new. Old means A should be replaced by the new means B. What is the differential or incremental total cost? 
टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ करंट ईयर माइनस टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर दैट इज इंक्रीमेंटल और डिफरेंशियल टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ करंट ईयर फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर वी शुड नॉट कैलकुलेट इट फॉर द सेकंड ईयर द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ मशीन ए इज 57000 टोटल कॉस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर प्रीवियस ईयर वाज 46000 सो इंक्रीमेंटल और डिफरेंशियल टोटल कॉस्ट फॉर द सेकंड ईयर इन केस ऑफ मशीन ए कम्स टू 11000 That is less than twenty thousand. Which twenty thousand? The lowest average total cost of B. Since the differential cost is less than the average total cost of B, we should continue to say make comparison. Now, third year. Total cost of A is seventy eight thousand at the end of third year. Total cost of A is fifty seven thousand at the end of the second year, fifty seven thousand. So twenty one thousand is the differential cost for the third year. And this twenty one thousand differential cost, that means cost, total cost for the third year, it may. be made up of only running cost as in this case or may be running cost and other cost too but it is 21000 now if we compare this 21000 with this 20000 the lowest possible in your total average total cost of b then we find that it is greater than 20000 that means in the third year what happens the say utilization cost of machine a exceeds the average total cost of b so we should not use the machine a for the third year if we have substitute of machine b available with lowest average total cost of rupees 20000 so in the third year itself or rather in the beginning of the third year we should replace machine a by b so there are now two points forget b there is no machine b then we should replace machine a by another new machine a at the end of the third year but the critical point is if we have an alternative of machine b available in the market with the data that the average rather lowest or least average total cost of rupees 20000 at the end of 5 years so now what will happen exactly we have machine a we have started to use machine a we shall use machine a for 2 years and at the end of the second year or in the beginning of the third year we shall replace machine a by machine b and then we shall use machine b for another 5 years so total span of 7 years what is going to happen for 2 years we are going to use machine a at a cost of rupees 57000 for another 5 years we are going to use machine b at a total cost of rupees 20000 into 5 years 1 lakh so in total cost of rupees 1 lakh 57000 we are going to work or rather do our work for 7 years what if there is no b or what if we say don't go for replacement of a by b first three years we shall use a total cost 78000 another three years so it will be six years we shall use a total cost 78000 so it will be 78000 plus 78000 total cost of 156000 in six years seventh year plus 46000 third Time we are going to install machine A in the seventh year. If we shall, if we use it for one year, so that the total will be seven years again, seven years. The total cost will be seventy eight thousand plus seventy eight thousand plus forty six thousand. So one fifty six plus forty six, it will be two lakh two thousand. If we continue to machine A, use machine A for seven years. if we use machine a for 2 years 57000 and machine b for 5 years the total cost will be 157000 this is the main point comparison of 7 years and 7 years why 7 years we substitute a by b at the end of 2 years and we use b for 5 years so total by using a and b it is 
7 years. So we compared using only A for 7 years, total cost 2 lakh 2000, using A for 2 years and B for 5 years, total cost 1 lakh 57,000. So it is advisable for the company at the end of second year to discontinue using A and to start using machine B. That will be the say a decision giving maximum financial benefit because everything remain even if everything remains constant the difference in two cost is two lakh two thousand minus one lakh fifty seven thousand so it is forty five thousand the company will gain rupees forty five thousand in these seven years that's it thank you very much.